Hey everyone, I'm Allison and you're watching Long Island Thrifter. Today I'm in New York City heading to the Goodwill and Housing Works. Let's go thrifting. My first stop is the Goodwill at First Avenue at 61st Street. It's not a huge store, but it's pretty well organized. I have to tell you a little secret. I think when I'm about 75, I'm going to be wearing caftans and moo's. And I saw this and I was like, oh, should I buy this from my future self? Because it's so cool. Then I saw this nasty gal kimono. It was new with tags and it was only $15. Uh, but I left that behind. They actually had a lot of nasty gal uh, stuff. So it must have come from an overstock at another store. If you look at this place, it's so neatly organized and well kept. I walked over towards the bags and I saw this Champion Camo backpack. It's $10 in very good condition. And then I looked up the sold comps and they run anywhere from $13 to about $30. So I left that behind. I didn't think it was that great of a return. And then I noticed over here this Le Sport Sac. Sorry, my finger is in the way of the camera. I don't know what I keep doing. This was $20. It was in good condition, but I kind of felt that was a little bit too much to pay. It has nice interior. But then when I looked up the sold comps, I could found, I only found one similar, not exactly the same, and it sold for 40 So again, left that behind. Then I saw this really nice Vince Camuto dress. It was a size four, so it's small. Uh, it had the original Marshalls tags on it for $40, and they were trying to sell it for $19.99. I looked it up, and I found one online that was selling for 50. I did not find any sold comps on that one. Then I noticed this Peace Love World sweatshirt. It was a size 2X. It's really big and it says Happy Heart on it. It was in good condition. Apparently these things sell for a lot of money, like 125 bucks for a sweatshirt, but I, I left it behind. They had some really good brands here like Madewell and even a Neiman Marcus, a cashmere cardigan, uh, and that was only $8. So if you go through the racks, you will find some nice brands. Just know it's the Upper East Side. They're going to be very small lady sizes. Then I saw this, this tray that was definitely mid-century modern that had some kind of like cherry stem on it that I was not going to touch. It was $5.99. And I only found one that was selling for 10. So again, left that behind. But I do love those kinds of plates. I think they're really cool. But just know that they will sit in your inventory for a while before you sell them. Then I saw this new old stock, full flat sheet. There's my finger again. I don't know what, why my knuckle keeps showing up in the camera. This was $4.99, but when you looked at it, similar listings of that vintage uh, brand, they ran from $8 to $15, so not a big resale there. Then I went over to the mugs and I found, well, Miss Eileen did not like her gnome go ho ho mug for Christmas, so uh, that's here. And uh, their mugs were like $2.99. So then I saw this Hallmark one, which is like a cheers engagement kind of mug. Uh, that was $3.99. I saw them for sale anywhere from $15 to $30, but no sold comps on that one. And then I saw this Café du Soleil Petit Déjeuner, which is breakfast in French, maroon and white mug from William Sonoma. Interesting thing. So there's a couple that have sold. This one was the blue and white one that sold off of best offer of $15. And then I noticed there were these other ones um, that were for sale. But Look at the first one, $599 for the cup pl bowl plate set of six. That's wild. Be on the lookout for that. My next stop was the Housing Works located at 2nd Avenue at 64th Street. And this is a small but mighty store. I love Housing Works stores. Before you go in, you've got to look at their displays. They do, it looks like a boutique. The windows are so well dressed and eye-catching. You have to go in. Now, this is a long, narrow store. This is different from the one on 23rd Street that I frequent quite a bit, but uh, this has a lot more uh, clothing, and then they have a nice jewelry case when you come in. It's mostly costume jewelry, and uh, they have shoes and 
this scarf I looked at, it looked like an Icelandic scarf. I think that was about $15 or 20 bucks. That was 20. And, but then I noticed these hats and I saw this nerd hat, which is like a trucker hat and it was $15. And I thought, well, that's kind of a lot. But later when I got home, I looked it up and I found this yellow one had just sold for over $200. So I don't know if that green one is worth the same amount or not, but I thought it was pretty cool. They have a lot of clothing and some very nice designers. There's my knuckle again. Sorry, it's in the way. It keeps wanting to get on camera. Uh, they have some good brands too and some luxury brands uh, definitely you can, you can find. I saw this Diane von Furstenberg. This is a mini, mini skirt. And it was very pretty, very cute. It looked like it had hardly been worn. And then when I looked it up, I found one selling for $32 or best offer. And another that, this is why I don't do auctions, $5.50 it sold for and had two bids. Over here in the housewares, I found this beautiful German canister set it was really in great condition and there was more to it above I mean there was this was the full set and moderately priced there's a resin buffalo for $14 I saw that online for sold comp that sold for probably the same price I love these little nesting bowls they were adorable and they were only like about three bucks or four bucks per bowl and maybe someone's handmade project or something but they looked really nice and uh, they were in very good condition. There were a lot of nice shoes and also very well displayed. Everything really felt like a boutique. Then I noticed this Tory Burch bag, but look at the handle. There's some cuts in the leather on both sides and that was not intentional. This is as is $50. I found some similar ones that ran anywhere from a best offer of off of $75 up to $130. But with that damage, there was no way I was going to pick that up. There were some nice housewares too. It's a very small houseware department. It's not like the one on 23rd Street. They don't have any furniture here either. Um, I saw this picture, which I thought was really cute. And it was $16, which I thought was a little high for that. But, you know, they range anywhere from about $13 up to about 20 and that's it you know so not a lot one last thing before i go i have to tell you i found this bolo at a garage sale about three weeks ago this item well it's had over 650 views it's the most viewed item i think i've ever had in my store and it's called Think Geek Fallout Pit Boy 45 ounce mug. I know mugs are the thing, right? If you find some really interesting thing like this, I picked it up a couple times and I was like, I don't know what this is. The woman who was having the garage sale told me that it was her son's. I, I never knew anything about Think Geek Fallout Bo Pit Boy or anything like that, but I knew enough that this thing was interesting. Now, I did sell it for less than what other ones go for because right over here there was a little nick in the side, but for $2 I sold it for $27 and I think that's a pretty good deal. So be on the lookout for these really unusual, interesting collector's items because someone just bought it last night. I couldn't believe how many people were watching it, but how many people viewed it. It was, it actually came to 667 people viewed this before someone finally bought it. So be on the lookout for these. Thanks for watching Long Island Thrifter. If you enjoyed this video, please tap the like button. And if so inclined, please subscribe. Until next time, keep on thrifting.